or it's a uh, it's a uh, symbol like you know if you have a what's a stereotype if you, if the guy has a small uh, oh. wiener or, or penis he has a he has a you know big car or some sort of hot hot rod yeah compensating. <laughs> Yeah, um, only with uh, cell phones is different because they have got to be as small as possible. <laughs> yeah, but you need to be glued to that twenty four seven. You gotta have your eyeballs stuck to that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, what was the subject again? What we trying to <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something relating to it. Well, we were on Harry Potter. What were we on before that? I think cults and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, which, uh, being oh, high watching Destiny videos. Yeah, I, I remember what it was. Um, like, you said if you watch, like, uh, Lord of the Rings all the way through. <laughs> yeah. So, it, it's a bit like watching the conspiracy theory videos and Destiny videos. If you watch a load of them, or a long, like, documentary, you'll begin to believe it, you know? Yeah. You know, Just if you are, like, really tired and, you know, you're keeping your eyelids open by drinking loads of uh, coffee or something and, you know, you're watching some of this, well, crap. Yeah. And it's there saying, it's oh, like, we have the proof. if you already have a desire to want to believe it. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, the, the world elite, that they must be worshipping devils and drinking, I don't know, baby blood and... You know, all that kind of stuff. Someone and then... is writing sex over and over into the frames of Disney movies. Yeah. I yeah, heard about some of the uh, <laughs> things in the background of some of the, some of the old movies. Because they, they slowed it down on a particular video on YouTube where they actually had... Um... Oh, what was it now? It was some old Disney film with like the background kind of like, I don't know in the desert, like Grand Canyon sort of, you know, look as well. And some of the things in the background, some of these rocks were just basically huge phallic symbols. Not just like, like, oh, it's kind of like it. It's like literally like a great big phallic symbol. You know, just great they big phallus. They the old cover of The Little Mermaid too, but I'm thinking, okay, some people pulling a little prank at something else than trying to indoctrinate kids with sex, you know? Yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's more like an artist at Disney gets pissed off, so they... Well, that, that, that one guy was thrown out because he was gay. That's why he drew the penis onto the cover. It's like, oh. fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. Have some penis. <laughs> yeah. It's not because there's some secret cabal somewhere going, <laughs> we put this in the Disney film. <laughs> We're going to turn all these children into nymphomaniacs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, Maybe that's, go on. that's uh, the explanation where some people are so fucked up. I don't know, but may maybe that's what the conspiracy theorists think that's going on. <laughs> you know, I watched... Um, uh, I didn't watch it, in fact. I uh, looked at the... Um, the David Icke website about a year ago. Uh, I remember this story because it was just, you know... Oh, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> and there's this story on the front page and it was basically to do with uh, a woman from Scotland, I think she was. And she uh, had psychological problems. She believed that uh, Gordon Brown, the... Uh, in fact, it was, it was a couple of years ago. Gordon Brown, the uh, then Prime Minister of Britain... Um, that he and a number of different like key politicians were involved in a satanic sex ring with children. And, you know, David Icke didn't check it out. He just put the story on the front page of his thing, or of his website. Just the publicity. Oh, this is what they do. And this woman has said she has seen Gordon Brown do this. She has seen this politician do that. And she knows they're <laughs> can't, can't satanic. They come after, go after him for slander or something? They should do. But it's like, oh, uh, they tend to use a particular like narrative, like allegedly, you know, or, you know, this woman claims. So in that, they can just simply say, well, it, it's what we were told. And they don't have to back it up. They could just make... You know, millions of people who perhaps might see that article or similar articles on uh, similar websites all believe that, uh, you know, particular, like, key politicians are basically, uh, well, 
sex offenders, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's really, really sick, isn't it, really? How some of these people operate. Yeah. Oh, they do that over here, too, in the tabloids. They just use a sentence, and it's not even a question, but they put a question mark behind it anyway. <sighs> Like they're it's implying terrible. that's a que- the grammar suggests it's not a question, mm. but they're just trying to be sure. And they say stuff like this one uh, tabloid is even famous for having the most stupid headlines. I think one was um, UFO cult clones first baby. Oh, was that with the that, that uh, was a serious headline? The Raelians over in America. Yeah, Raelians. Yeah, gotta love those guys. <laughs> yeah, they're so full of it as well. It's the thing I like about them actually. They're they're so full of their own belief and so willing to lie, even to outsiders, you know. Uh, it's pathetic. You know, it's st- stuff they could easily prove. Like, here's the kid, here's the data, here's how we did it, here's the um, the doctors, scientists involved, and bam, suddenly they're in the history books and they end up with like, a load of followers. But they say, no, uh, we don't want to give you the child, we don't want to give you the information because you'll misuse it. You know, or... Um. Something to that effect. That's the yeah, mm, that's the reason. You know. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So if it's so incredible, it must be true. There's always yeah. a good excuse. <laughs> yeah, let's just not talk about donations, huh? Yeah. Or where they went. <laughs> it's all a big secret. It will be for the best of all. And everyone will have a pool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I love that. I, w- I watched these Destiny uh, videos about um, what would life be like in an equal money system. Oh, yeah. And they counted, and out of 28 people, 26 implied or explicitly said, I'm going to quit my job and never do any useful work again. Oh. And maybe I'll become a rock star. <laughs> what? So, sounds reasonable. <laughs> it's one way of looking at it, isn't it? It's one way of looking at it, you know. Equal money system. It's kind of like they all want to live a um, a free lifestyle. But then they think, well, they become a rock star. Who's going to make their, you know, their rock star mobile? Who's going to make their, you know, their uh, big, like, um, RV well, a, that's going to go across, you know. They, they won't have all the bad, you know. They, people won't be so messed up anymore, so they'll be able to see the true talent of these artists that are in Destiny. Yes, especially yeah. those in Destiny, yeah. With all their talent. Yeah. And no one ever tunes their instrument, for yeah. fuck's sake. All of their wonderful oh. music, which is so creative. Oh. <laughs> they stole the song from The Simpsons and they, they threw equal money words in it and it didn't even rhyme anymore. Oh. It was terrible. <laughs> oh. I think the end one was... They have the plans, but we have the power. They they use this um, from this one Simpsons episode where Lisa's making up a song for the protesters. Oh yeah. In front of that uh, atomic power plant thing, and there it made sense. But when I first heard it from the Destiny video, I imagined like a plant in a flower pot, and it made no sense because she said, uh, uh, "I think she said they have the plans, but we have the process." And like, oh. process is against plants? What? What have the flowers done to you? What's the issue with those? <laughs> and that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> no. I mean, if they actually had half a brain, you know, between all of them, the Destonians, <laughs> you'd think they'd actually like, I don't know, try and work more cooperatively. You know, they could become a bigger, bigger group, less centralised, and still get a considerable amount of donations to come towards Bernard by simply saying, oh, you know, uh, we want to try and help Anonymous to do this. We want to try and help Zeitgeist to do that. We want to try and help these groups to work together. And people would think, Bernard Pullman, what a visionary. But instead, he's there sitting on, you know, sitting in the car or, you know, sitting on his uh, chair at home or, or out in the yard or something. And, you know, he's there going... Well, you've got to follow the equal money system. You know, it. you don't follow the system, you will not know true equality. There is no equality beyond destiny. You know, and all this kind of stuff. You'd think if he Why had... Why is he always reporting in a, uh, uh, doing his recording in a car? I don't get that. Yeah, yeah. 
Is he, is, is he still doing recordings? I haven't even been keeping up with that. Yeah, Sometimes. they are. To a degree. They're spreading it out on the different channels. Was. You know, the, uh, they've got a variety of, like, um, their new, uh, like, main channels, which aren't really, like, you know, all that main. But, you know, they're still doing stuff. 